This is not advice. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. Okay, so I did a video talking about how I manage my artifacts, but what I did not do was talk about how I deal with my accessories because accessories are actually a little bit different. At least for me, I treat them a little bit differently than I do for my, my artifacts. So what I do for my artifacts, uh, in case you, you missed it, was anything from one star to five stars, regardless of what it is, I just sell it. Anything that's from gray to blue, I also sell. And there's more that goes into it, but that's just the general gist of how I quickly do it. Artifacts or accessories, the jewelry is a little bit different. Some jewelry has the ability to really boost a specific character with just the accessories alone. And on top of that, some accessories are a lot harder to obtain than your average um, artifacts. For example, uh, reaction gear, blood shield gear, um, those are something that you can only get from doing CVC. And it's not like we have reaction or blood shield artifacts. Artifacts give you the capability to do something you can't really do here. And, and what I mean by that is, for an example, if you want to do something like Savage and Stone Skin, accessories allow you to do that. So you could do four pieces of Savage. Let's say I wanted to build Rotos out in Savage and Stone Skin. Well, guess what? All I'd have to do is take one of these pieces put one piece of stone skin on and then these bottom three if i had the stone skin for it could be um one turn stone skin because you need four and four and there's different combinations that you could do and this isn't just solely for stone skin you could do this for merciless gear six piece merciless and cruel one two three four five six imagine if you had two pieces of merciless here four pieces of merciless up here and then these two right here could make it so that you could do 40% ignore. Cleansing gear that you get from 3v3 shop, the 3v3 shop. And then Slayer accessories is another thing because you can't forge more Slayer accessories. You can only buy more or you have to wait for very few and far in between events. So when it comes to the jewelry, you wanna be a little bit more stringent as opposed to with your artifacts. So pinpoint gear, two pieces right here, like one ring and one, one amulet could easily give you that 10% speed boost and accuracy that uh, was able to boost my Cardiel and my shoes in. The way that I handle my accessories is a little bit different. Basically, for anything that's special, if it has this special marker here, I pretty much don't sell it. Now, what I do do is I maintain the one to five stars and I sell it. And again, this is not advice. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. I don't recommend that you do what I do. I've been doing this for over five years and it's working. This is how I do it. Anything from one to five stars, I sell. Same thing with my artifacts. Anything from gray to blue, I sell. Epic gear is a little bit different. So for epic gear, if I have even one substat that I don't like, so anything that's HP, flat attack or flat defense, I also sell it with the exception of special gear. You'll notice that a lot of my, unless it's triple rolled or if it's special gear, a lot of my epic gear, for an example like this one, I'm going to sell it because it doesn't have a triple and it has one, actually has two sub, uh, sub stats that I, don't, that I don't like. So I'm going to sell that. This is a triple and I already invested into it a long time ago. I'm going to keep it. But if it's a special, I don't care what it is because for special gear, special jewelry, the benefits that you get, I almost clicked sell while clicking all of those. The benefits that you get are a lot more than trying to min max the stats. Another example that I can think of is cursed gear. Cursed gear is another good example of, of something that you don't really need. And I, I, I don't really farm cursed gear. So you're going to see there's not a lot, but cursed gear gives you a 50% chance to place hex and you don't need accuracy for that. You can just place it. And you don't have to have the best stats for Hex to be useful. You could just throw on a, um, a Hex set to make it work, and that's good enough. Special gear like this allows you to boost your Hydra damage, and the difference between somebody who uses Hex and doesn't use Hex is night and day. And the same could be said for a lot of this, this gear, right? Even if, protect, for example, Makage. Where's Makage? Makage, I want to put in... I'm missing a ring, but imagine if I had one protection ring i could boost my ally damage by five percent the ring doesn't even have to be good the ring can be absolute shit but if it's protection oh oh would you look at that would you look at that don't ask me this again would you look at that boom and you know what check that out look at this the substats are crap but this enables me to have nine piece a nine piece set on my makage 
right? Because this is huge. Allies deal 5% more damage. And this is what I mean. Like, even if the substats are crap, because look, the rolls are shit too, but we're still keeping it because it allows us to do something that normally we wouldn't be able to do. And that's why it's important to be a little bit more selective. And I would argue to just not sell um, a lot of your special gear. I, I, I hold myself a little bit... It's kind of dumb. You know what I mean? Because I know I could have achieved this a long time ago, but... I'm a very particular person. I just want things done in a very specific way, in a very specific manner, even if it doesn't make sense. Even if I know that this isn't like the best thing to do in the moment, I'm still going to do it because this is the way that I want to do it, right? So, I mean, technically I could have had like a five piece or a five star rare protection ring and Mikage could have been in nine piece protection gear this whole time. But because I'm a very specific person with very specific I don't want to say like I just I have parameters for myself and that's just the way that it is but here look we can we can look at my my um my standard gear for my jewelry on high elves I'm looking for triple rolls if it has red even if it just rolls once onto the red I'm more than likely going to keep it because to me that that already counts as like a double but here this is a three with the red I consider, uh, consider that to be a 4, so that's a lot of attack. We have attack on attack on attack, no titan. Here we have HP. If the red for a standard is on a flat attack or flat uh, substat, I'm more than likely going to sell it if it's a standard. But it's not going to be the case for anything that's um, a special gear. For an example, here. This is a perfect example. This is reaction gear. The... the, the um, the red potential is on a flat HP, but because I do place value on reaction, reaction's not like the best, but I've seen it help more than I've seen it hurt. And it's better to have these than it is to have just a bunch of standard um, rings and, and whatnot. Uh, same thing for Feral, like look at this. You have a flat potential for red on, um, on a flat attack, but the set in and of itself is special and provides a lot so i'm going to keep it and plus you could always re-roll it and then it could be like i don't know um attack percent for an example so let's go through this and we'll see and here if it doesn't triple i don't keep it i still maintain that when it comes to my standard uh, accessories if it doesn't triple i don't keep it is there an artifact enhancement event right now did i okay so there is an artifact enhancement event perfect we're gonna roll roll some stuff up a little we're going to roll it up here. Okay. So first, let's go through um, my epic gear. And anything that has a substat that I don't like, if it doesn't triple, we're not keeping it. If it's a standard, anything that's special, we're going to keep. So we saw a triple here. We're going to keep it. Pinpoint is also really good. We've talked about that. Looking for more standard. Does this a triple? This is a triple. We're going to keep that. And I'm more than likely going to keep gear that I've already fully maxed out. So let's say last year I maxed out a standard piece with Ascension and I've already invested those resources. I'm more than likely going to keep it, although I'm not seeing any um, right now. All right, so this is all special, special, special. Nothing standard. I've pretty much gotten rid of anything that I didn't want, but you guys can kind of see how I go about doing this. I wish there was a filter to see what was, oh, is it? Oh, I guess that doesn't, oh no, it doesn't separate it the way that I want to. I wish I could just filter out everything that, that is just standard so I could see, okay, th these are all the per perfect pieces of gear or the standard pieces and that's it. Let me see here. So it looks like I've already done most of this then I think, all right, let me just finish. Oh, here we go. Standard. Okay. Anything that's epic that has even one flat stat that I don't like, I'm going to get rid of as well because I don't want to waste the silver or the time trying to see if this is going to triple roll. Again, we don't, if it's not a triple, we don't keep it. This is not a triple. I'm not going to keep it. There's no triple here. I'm not going to keep it. And there's a flat here. I'm not going to keep it. A lot of you won't agree with me. Take this uh, with a grain of salt, like a lot of green, lot, lots of greens of salt. Don't, don't, don't do what I do. But I'm only sharing this with you guys because some of you want to see how I uh, do what I do. Okay. Oh, we could. I guess we could do this. Click that. Nothing. This is all special. 
Uh, here we go. We got standards. Sell that. Keeping that, that's a triple. We're going to sell that. That's a triple. Or that's not a triple. No triples there. No triples there. And these are all one one ones. We're going to keep it. Uh, we're not going to keep it. No triples there. No triples there. There's a triple there. No triple. And no triple. There's no potential for a triple because it's an epic on top of that. No triple. Sell. Check this. Uh, we're going to keep this because it's a triple. We're keeping that. That's a triple. And this is a triple. We're going to keep it as well. In fact, let me go ahead. Was that Demon Spawn? Demon Spawn, where are you? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and bring this up to 16. Just knock it out of the park. Get those points in. No triple there. We're going to sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Flat right there. On an epic, we sell that. We're going to sell that too. And there's a triple. Standard. Nothing standard there. Nothing standard there. Nothing standard there. Nothing standard. Nothing standard. Nothing standard. And the last one, the skinwalkers. Oh, here we go. That's a triple. We keep that. Triple speed is good. We have a flat there. We're not going to keep it. And there's a flat there. We're not going to keep it. And a lot of you guys might be saying like, oh, well, what if that was a triple speed? Yeah, you know, it's it's cool if it's a triple speed. But on top of that, the way that I am, I like to keep myself organized in a very specific way, like I mentioned. But to me, this is leaving stats on the table. That's just the way that it, it works out in my head. And so I'm not going to argue with how my head works, even if my head is wrong or being dumb. But to me, this seems having a flat stat and it not being a special piece of gear means you're missing out on stats. And it kind of gets to the point where you're in the end game where it's like you need to min max your stats as much as possible. And if you don't force yourself to, um, what am, what am I trying to say? Well, let me, let me think about this. What I do is I force myself into positions that, uh, no ditty. Uh, what I do is I force myself into positions that force me to farm for the gear that I actually need. So let's say like, oh, I, I need, I need a triple speed, um, banner for lizard men. I don't have it. Well, guess what I'm about to go do. I'm about to farm the fuck out of spider until I get what I want. And that's something that you need to do. That's one way to, to narrow down your needs in a game, or I guess in this game, to narrow down your needs, at least for me, this is how it works for me, to narrow it down for myself. And um, this encourages me to focus down on that so that I'm not doing like 20 different things. I'm doing things one at a time. Like, oh, I need to get that triple speed or, or I need to get um, a specific speed parameter done for for my lizard men. And that's what I'm going to do until I get it done. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna go to the um, the legendary pieces. And it's pretty much the same thing. If it's special, I'm not gonna touch it. If this doesn't triple, I'm not going to keep it because it's standard. And that did not triple, so we sell it. Let's check this. This is a triple, we keep it. This is a triple, we keep it. This is, give me triple speed. There it is, triple speed, we keep it. Oh, he, he, he was safe. I was expecting to sell him. He's like, oh my God, save me, save me, save me. No triple there, we sell this. We have a quad here, we're gonna keep that. There's two flats here, that's the other thing. If I have two flats on a legendary piece, I'm going to sell it. Now, I'm starting to get to the point with legendary gear where it's like, even if I have one flat stat on legendary gear, I'm starting to want to sell it and not even bother rolling it up because I, I can spend a lot, like a fuck ton of silver rolling it up and then it going to waste because it hits a it hits a flat and i don't want that like i'm trying to be the absolute best that i can be with my account and my characters and the only way to do that is to force myself to be the best and to force myself to have that kind of gear because gear is like 80 percent of the battle now i do want to sell this this is something that i would sell but because it's already fully ascended we're keeping that triple there triple there here we have one flat stat and I don't even want to bother um, rolling it up, but just just to see where I'm coming from. Uh, where, where did it go? Where is it? Where's the piece of gear? 
Did I? Oh no, it's right here. Or, or was it? Where is it? Anyway, we'll, we'll use this one. We have a flat stat here. To kind of further my point, let's go ahead and roll it up to 12 and just see. So it hits even, it just hit one flat stat. And you might say, oh, you know, there's a, there's a, a, a potential for triple. But now I'm getting, I'm getting to the point where it's like, I don't have a lot of silver. I hardly ever have a lot of silver anymore just because of the way that, um, you know, silver works and all the events and everything. And there's ways to work around that. I could just save for a while, but oftentimes like I, like, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it explaining it, but like, this is, this is not acceptable to me. And because it's not acceptable to me, even if there's one imperfection, I'm getting, I'm getting it the fuck out of here. So that's going to be gone. This is one, one, one. So I'm going to get rid of it. This is a one, one. And um, it's got a flat here, so we're gonna sell that. That's what I'm gonna start doing. Even if on legendary it has one flat, I'm probably not gonna roll it up. See, look at this. We have uh, a roll on a flat here, and that's a waste to me. I don't wanna, cause even if I max it out, it's like, it, it's not gonna benefit me over another piece of gear. And if I just keep a bunch of gear that is mediocre and I settle for mediocre, well, guess what my account is gonna be? Mediocre. Triple speed there. Again, if it triples, we keep it. If it doesn't, then we don't. Except for this. Look at this. A triple flat attack. I don't or flat attack. Yeah, flat attack. I don't know how that how that got past me. Double flat there. Keep that. That's triple HP. There's potentials with those. Uh, this is perfect for me, assuming I get a triple. This is a flat attack, but let me let me let me get rid of these first. Alright, so let's finish this off. If this triples, we keep it. Hey, he saved. HP, look at that. That's HP on HP. Triple defense. Now, there is no triple here, so we're going to get rid of it. There's no triple there. We uh, we don't keep it. There's no triple there, and there's no triple there either. So we get rid of that. Okay, and then we move on. I thought I had more, more to look at. Are orcs? Are we on orcs now? Oh, let me do this. Orcs. Okay. It hit a flat there, so we're going to get rid of it. Hit a flat there, we're going to get rid of it. Hit a flat there, we get rid of it. And then let's check. Okay, so if it hits a flat, I'm going to get rid of it. Let's roll it up to 12, just to save time. All right, we have... All right, so if this hits a triple defense, we're going to keep it. It's attack with defense. I don't... Like, it's a little bit redundant, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with having more defense. And we sell it anyway because, you know, it just doesn't, it's, it's there's, no, there's no triple. But then the counter argument is if you're really trying to max out a damage dealer, a nuker, then you want to have all attack. But my counter argument to that is Thor. Thor is extremely, like, squishy. He, he's a glass cannon. So if I didn't build my Thor with some defense or HP in mind, it doesn't matter how hard he hits. So there needs to be a fine line that you need to learn to walk, right? Because, yeah, you could say maximizes his attack, but at the same time, it's the same thing if your nuker is going too slow. If your nuker is going too slow and he doesn't take a move, well, guess what? It doesn't matter how hard he hits. It's the same thing with um, defense. And here we could we can, we can try to see if this rolls onto HP or onto speed. And um, it does. But then I have to risk spending silver on this to see if it rolls a triple speed if I want to keep it. Plus the flat attacks so there's there's investing into this or investing into something that's perfect like this i'd rather take my chances with something perfect like this or some of the other special gear that i know i'm going to keep anyway right so let's roll this up we'll roll it up to 12 time's sake ideally you'd want to roll it up, oh god ideally you'd roll it up to like 8 and then 12 to see if you like how it rolls but sometimes you just want to do it quickly um and then just run with that all right, Undead Hordes, let's check this out. All right, we're going to sell that. No triple. Okay, there's a triple there. Triple flat, though. Get rid of that. Mm, we have a flat. So this one has a flat. We're going to get rid of that. And this is already rolled up on a triple. Keep it. Triple, keep it. All ones, don't keep it. Flat, there we get rid of it. Let's go over to the Night Revenants. I got a lot of Night Revenant gear. Get rid of that. Keep that. Triple we keep. If it doesn't triple, we don't keep. 
Mm, we're going to roll those up and triple. Keep that. No triple there. Triple there. Bunch of ones. Double on the flat. Bunch of ones. One on the flat. And there's a flat there. I don't want to invest any more into it. Flat there. We get rid of that. All right. So Knight Revenant. Where is Knight Revs? Knight Revenant. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, you're down there. That's weird. Thought he were further along up. Okay, so let me see if this rolls on triple accuracy. And it does, so we keep it. That's good. That's huge. Triple accuracy. Keep it. Keep it. We don't keep it. All right. And again, I have to remind you guys, don't do what I do. I don't suggest you do what I do. And strange, I thought we were further up, but I guess not. Did we look at Undead Hordes? Yeah, we did. And then Dark Elves. And then this is a flat here. We're going to get rid of that. Ogren Tribe. Triple there. We keep it. Don't keep that. We're not keeping that. Two double. Two flats right there. Quad. This one is a quad. I remember that one. And then we're going to test that one. Test that one. And then we sell that one. And then Skinwalkers, we have a quad there. I think we talked about that one already. And then there's a flat there, flat there. And a flat there as well. So we get rid of those. Check out the Lizardmen. Double flat. I guess what I could do is just filter it to see if it... See what I mean? Like, look at this. There's another one that just straight up hit flat. Here's what we're going to do. With regards to my legendary pieces, we're going to look for all the flat HPs and then run through it to see if there's anything I want to get rid of in there. Okay, so nothing from the Undead Hordes, Ogren Tribes, I think we looked at already. And we're going to roll this up to see if we get triple attack. And we don't, so we sell it. It hit the flat instead. And that one has two, two flats. I, I didn't even see that. Got to look better. Sacred Order, roll it up, see if it hits a three. And then Demon Spawn, Orcs. That's a triple, we keep that. Dwarves, triple, quad, look at that, quad speed. Accuracy with the resistance, it's a strong banner. All right, let's see, Barbarians, more potentials, or quads. It's already rolled up to 12, so might as well see how it performs. What was that? Barbarians? Alright, let's let's just do it right now. We got three million silver. Look, see how see how much it costs to roll it up? And then look at that. It rolled on a flat substat. Exactly my point. So we're just gonna sell it. Same thing with this. Like I'm 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 ambivalent about even rolling it up now. But we'll keep it since I already have it. And then it's gonna be the same thing for the other substats as well, which I'll get to probably on my phone. When it comes to mythical pieces, um, it pretty much holds the same, except for standard gear, again. Now, for standard gear, if the potential is on a percentage stat or a stat that I like, I'm going to keep it. But if the um, potential for uh, higher rolls is on a flat, then I'm less inclined to want to keep. I'm trying to find an example like this right here. I'm less inclined to keep this because it, it, the potential is on a flat attack, right? The red is right there. So we're going to skip that. And then we're going to see here, we at least got one there, so that's fine for me. For Mythical Gear, if I have at least one roll on the red that I think is good, and it's not a triple, I'm still okay with it. But if it's a flat, then we get rid of it. I'm trying to see if I can find another one. Defense, defense percentage flat attack that's one i'm going to get rid of and then, and then of course as mentioned the um accessories get to stay flat defense uh, nobody wants a, a a penta flat defense and then we have a flat attack double on the speed but then a flat defense so we, we're gonna sell this I'm gonna kill that one that one's okay and then defense percent resistance is good hp percent attack percent we got it on a two this one because it didn't actually hit the red 
I'm I'm still kind of on the fence about it. But then again, I think to myself, I'm like, well, the red stat is an HP percent, and it technically is already, um, it already has higher point values because it's kind of like as if I already rolled one onto it. So we're gonna keep that. Mm, see here, keep it, keep it on the crit damage. This one. Um, yeah, we keep that one because again, it's the red on something we like speed and then check over here. Yep. That's fine. Keep that HP percent. And then we got it on the speed. That's good. And then flat. <laughs> we got, it. we got flat HP, but you know what? We already brought it up to 15. Might as well just get the last few points in and then it's defense, but we're still going to sell it and then, uh, let's see. Mm, no we're gonna we're gonna get rid of it i don't want to invest in it anymore and you have to learn to be okay with choosing not to invest in something anymore and i think that's something else that um polarium is really good at like let's say you you have a piece of gear like the one that i just sold i could have been like oh well i'm gonna keep investing into it because i already got it at 12 um but if it's something that i know deep-seated that i should just get rid of it I should probably do it and I struggle with that because uh, I'm human I'm not I'm not perfect but I think that's something something that Polarium does where they're like okay well let's let's get them to 12 we're gonna have them feel already invested and then we're gonna have them spend more silver to get it to 16 just to see if the RNG lands in their favor and it's something that they want but I have to learn to caution against that so that I'm not wasting silver investing in something that I know I don't want to keep so here we have a percentage defense and then we have a flat defense with double attack. This is something that I wanted like flat defense with the red. Get out of here. BBA!